Hello everyone. So in this session, I'll be discussing related to jump list and return instruction, right? So in the previous sessions, we have seen about jump label and jump if not instruction. So in this session, I'll be discussing related to jump list instruction. Okay, jump list and return instruction. So let us see what is jump list instruction. Okay, so in jump list instruction, it is a block in which we can take number of uh labels right so in the previous sessions we have seen uh, in the previous session we seen that we can take only one label and one we have taken one label and one jump right now in this block we can take number of multiple number of label instructions okay and we can activate as per the requirement okay so there is a one uh input through which we can activate the required label right so let us observe how to use them in the logic okay so here what i'll do is what we'll do is i'll just make one no and then i'll give the output okay so in this way uh, let me delete all these networks okay uh, let me create one fresh network okay and then i'll be giving it as no and output right so i need some multiple networks here so i'll just copy this one and paste it multiple times okay so in this way we have around seven networks right so in one of the networks what we'll do is i'll just change the output right so here i will paste the uh, I'll just take it as jump list, right? Now we'll be uh, see here if you are able to observe this is our jump list function. So I'm increasing one more number of destination. Okay, so this destination decides which label instruction has to be activated. Okay, and here we'll be giving the address of the destination. So here zero one two. Okay, so whatever value we are giving for k, that one. Uh, that uh, label will be activated suppose we are giving it zero here then destination zeros label will be activated similarly here we will be giving multiple uh, labels right so let me give some label instruction also here okay i am taking this label instruction here okay so this is our label i am taking one more label here okay let me take one more label here okay and there is one more label here i'll take it one more label here okay so we have taken three labels because we know that our uh, jump list instruction has three destinations right so now what i'll do is i'll give the addresses m0.0 here and i'll give the output addresses q0.0 here okay and similarly what i'll do is i'll give the memory address for this one m0.1 to activate the m0.1 okay to activate this jump list later i'll give the addresses for this let us uh, give some addresses for this inputs and outputs i0.2 and this will be q0.2 right similarly i'll give the address for this one as well so this will be q i0 dot 3 and this will be uh, sorry this will be our memory right m0 dot 3 and this will be q0 dot 3 okay right similarly what i'll do is i'll give the address as m0 dot 4 and this as q0.4 okay and similarly here also we will give some address that is m0.5 and this is m0.5 m0. Uh, sorry this is our q0.5 right so all the things we have done 
uh, yeah we don't require this network right so I'm just deleting this one right now what we'll do is I'll be giving the addresses here suppose this is our label number 0 okay L0 underscore 0 okay so destination is 0 that's why we are taking it as 0 similarly L underscore we can write it as L underscore 1 okay destination 1 similarly L underscore 2 right so in this way we have given the labels now we'll be taking the same labels here okay suppose this is L underscore 0 L underscore 0 okay similarly I'll give the L underscore 0 L underscore 1 here right similarly next one will be L underscore 2 right in this way we have given all the labels right now we'll decide which label has to be activated right so here we can write whatever destination we want suppose if you want to activate the label number zero when you are activating this jump instruction so we'll be giving it as zero suppose we want destination to be one that is destination number one so i am giving it as one now what will happen is here when you are giving this one as one so obviously the destination number one that is label number one will be activated so here if you observe label number one is here okay so whatever whatever instructions or whatever network is in between this jump as well as this label number one when you are activating this one inputs the output will not be in the high state and when jump and label when this jump list is at one and we are having this addresses here so all the networks which are in between this uh, uh, jump as well as this label number one will not be activated when you, even if you try to activate it okay so let us observe download it and observe what is going to happen okay so i am going to online mode now okay after going to online mode will we just monitor the logic now okay so now when you are activating this input obviously it will be activated okay so if you try to activate this this will be activated right so it is activated now because it is out of this range right now this jump instruction is not active that is why even all the networks which are below this one will all be activated right so i am just turning it off okay similarly even if you press this one it will be in the high state okay similarly we can press any one of them okay so all of them will be in the high state right now what we'll do is i'll just activate this function i am activating and modifying this one okay so as the jump list is active right so what is the address here one okay so uh, which destination will be active this label will be active label number one okay so here if you observe the label number one is here okay so whatever networks are in between this jump list instruction and label number one will not be activated see the difference this jump label uh, this label is one and this is active at the moment so whatever the instruction suppose this one if you are able to observe carefully this is not visible properly but this is visible because it is not under the influence of this label instruction but this uh, uh, network is, and this network both are in the influence of the label one number one okay so this is active okay if you are trying to activate this this will be active okay i'm modifying it it is active but if you try to activate this one it will not be active similarly if you try to activate this one it will not be active okay but if you deactivate this one then it will obviously active okay uh, let me deactivate yes this is deactivated now so you are able to observe that these networks are now in the active state 
right so this is how we are using this jump list instruction it is decided by the value of k whether which label instruction will be active at what moment okay so this is how we are using this jump list instruction okay so now let us observe how to use the return instruction i will delete this one okay and i will take one output here okay and i'll give some address q0 dot suppose 7 okay now what we'll do is i'll make one let me delete all the label which are not required now it is very simple to understand the network uh, return instruction what we'll do is i'll place one return instruction at this address okay i'll delete this one i'll place one return instruction so this is our return instruction right now i'll give it as false at the moment it is false right now i'll download this one again if you download this one and go in the online mode you'll be able to observe that when this return instruction is in active state the program will be scanned from top to bottom but it will return from this in this network itself it will not go to the uh, below this network right so below network number four no no instruction will be executed okay so whatever instructions are below this network will not be executed only the instruction above will be executed okay so this is how this return instruction works so it will the program will execute from top to bottom and it will come here and it will return from here itself okay so let us observe how, what is going to happen i am going to the online mode i am turning it on okay so here if you are able to observe this network is in presently in the high state so let me turn it off okay so he now at this moment because return is not active so all the instructions which are below return will also be in the activity active state because it is not returning from here it is scanning from top to bottom completely right so even if you try to turn it on then also it will be in the high state okay so i am just turning it off once again right so i'll also turn it off once again right now i'll be activating this return instruction right so what happens is whatever instructions which are above this return instructions will be executed by the plc okay but the ret but the instructions or the networks which are below this return instructions will not be executed right so if you are trying to execute this one it will not be in the high state okay okay so this is how we are using this return instruction now what we'll do is i'll just turn it off so again the instruction below this will be in the active state okay i'm turning it off so if you are able to observe again this is in the high state so this is how we are using this return instruction in the plc okay so the remaining things we'll be discussing in the next lecture okay